I say yo Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is NXT Great American Bash. Bash, 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 bash. Yes, let's get into it, you feel me? Now, before this, before I get into this predictions, NXT announced that their next premium live event is going to be NXT No Mercy. Yes, they done with the takeovers, so now they bringing back classic early 2000s pay-per-views like Great American Bash and No Mercy. I love it. I ain't gonna lie, I love it. NXT Judgment Day, NXT Backlash, whatever. I ain't gonna lie, I love it. I love it. I think it's a great idea. Great idea. For this pay-per-view that's going down on Sunday, NXT usually goes down on Saturdays, but because there's no main roster pay-per-view, they doing it on Saturday. Let's get it. Number one, a weapons match, Roxanne Perez versus Blair Davenport. Um, I'm gonna go with Roxanne Perez. Blair Davenport already won the first match. I could see this being a feud. I don't think it's gonna end right here. I could see them having another match after this. And I don't think Roxanne Perez is gonna get called up yet. So I feel like she's gonna stay in NXT for a little while longer. I got Roxanne Perez winning. Next, we got this uh, eight person tag, Dragon Lee, Nathan Frazier and the two Spanish girls, no offense, I don't know them, versus Noam Dar's faction with um, Lash Legend. I don't know them either, they're metaphor, I guess. Um, I got the babyface winning. NXT did this like the last pay-per-view too, where it was Chase U versus Schism. So NXT does this where they try to get everybody on the card. You get a nice eight-man tag, six-person tag, whatever. I got Dragon Lee and Nathan Frazier winning. Matter of fact, I might have them as a metaphor winning because if they lose this and it's their first eight man tag, what's the point? I might have them winning. I ain't gonna lie. Um, nah, I'm gonna stick to the baby faces. I'm sorry. I got the baby face winning. Max, Gable Stevenson versus Baron Corbin. Gable Stevenson is NAC full time now. Um, they was doing his repackage with Baron Corbin for weeks. If he just come back and lose, that'd have been a long waste. That'd have been a long, long waste. I feel like Gabriel Stevenson don't gotta be undefeated. He don't gotta be undefeated in NXT. Um, but he is gonna win this match. I got him beating Barry Corbin. I got Gabriel Stevenson winning. Next, NXT Women's title, Tiffany Stratton versus Thea Hill. Submission match. These are two of the best people, and Roxanne Perez, two of the best people, women from NXT 2.0. I would say Braun Breaker, Roxanne Perez, um, Carmelo Hayes, Tiffany Stratton, and then probably Thea Hell. You feel me? You could probably put uh, Grayson Waller in there too, because he's on the main roster. But these are some of the standouts since they made the change from NXT Black and Gold to 2.0. I got Tiffany Stratton winning. She just won the belt. I don't see her losing it. Next, for the tag titles, we got Tony D'Angelo and Stax versus Gallus. Um, Gallus had the belts for a while, but they didn't do nothing with them. They didn't do nothing with the belts since they had them. I will put the belts on Tony D'Angelo and Stax. I ain't gonna lie, just to shake up the division. The Creed Brothers is not at NXT no more. They about to get called up soon. Just to give it to them, I will put it on Stax and um, Tony D'Angelo. Next, North American Triple Threat, Dominic Mysterio versus Mustafa Ali versus Wesley. I got Dirty Down winning, Triple Threat match. This might be the best Dominic Mysterio match that he's ever had, honestly. Because Wesley is really good, Mustafa Ali is really good, and Dominic Mysterio brings mad heat. He got mad heat. So this could be the best match that he ever was in. Ever was in. I got Dominic retaining. And then main event, we got Carmelo Hayes versus Ilya Dragunov. NXT um, world title. I'm going with Carmelo Hayes. I know they've been showing him on the main roster a lot lately. Him with Bobby Lashley, him with Seth Rollins. They've been trying to tease him on the main roster. So just when he get called up, people familiar with him. Um, Ilya, when Ilya get called up, I will put him in Imperium. I ain't gonna lie, I will put him in Imperium. I feel like Imperium as a four person group looked at way better than they do as a three person group. When they had Alexander Wolf in it, that added a lot to them, you feel me? Ilya Dragunov is a lot better than Alexander Wolf, A lot better. So when he gets called up to the main roster, I would not be ashamed with Ilya Dragunov joining Imperium. I got Carmelo Hayes retaining. 
That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I be.